When endodontic treatment fails, retreatment is necessary. Complete removal of gutta percha and the infected material takes time, but is essential for retreatment to be successful. Gutta percha should be removed as completely as possible, but without it being pushed beyond the apical foramen. Bossy logic retreatment files provide crucial advantages as they are designed to remove 90% of gutta percha without the use of solvents. There's no need to use other instruments and the procedure with logic is both faster and cleaner. Bossy logic retreatment files should only be used to remove gutta percha and they are designed to follow a crown down technique. Beginning with a 3010, moving to the 2508, and then finishing with a 2006. Once access to the canal has been achieved, begin the procedure with the 3010, following the canal shape and penetrate the gutta percha, using small pecking motions toward the apex, until you notice you have begun to remove dentin. Next, use the 2508 with the same procedure without advancing too close to the canal apex. By this point, about 90% of the gutta percha should be removed, leaving only the last two to three millimeters of the apical region. For the final retreatment file, use the 2006 at a slightly slower speed of less than 600 RPM. Before using the 2006, make sure that there's no canal deviations and that the files follow the canal shape. If there is a deviation, stop the use of rotary files and use a K10 or K15 manual file to correct the canal path. If you're encountering significant resistance, use a drop of solvent to soften the gutta percha in the apical portion. Finally, Use a K10 or K15 manual file to establish patency. With the gutta percha removed and patency achieved, proceed with retreatment. Then use a logic glide path 2501 to establish the foramen size as you complete the procedure using the Bossy Logic technique. Bossy Logic Retreatment. Conservative. Efficient. Advanced.